is North Korea nearing collapse. North Korea, wow. The Hermit Kingdom, run by a diminutive uh, psychopath named Kim Jong-un, or as Donald Trump famously called him, Little Rocket Man. <laughs> Over the years, the plight of the North Korean people has become steadily worse. Most of the state's resources seem to be devoted to weaponry, including the development of nuclear weapons. And lest there be any uncertainty about how oppressive this place is, there was uh, an inquiry by the United Nations into the human rights situation in North Korea. And their statement was that, quote, the gravity, scale, and nature of these violations reveal a state that does not have any parallel in the contemporary world. That's how bad it is. Now, apparently ravaged by COVID, can the Kim show continue? It certainly doesn't look good, and many suggest not only economic collapse, but even the end for Kim Jong-un. Uh, others shrug it off and say they've been through all this before, that this is nothing new. After a few ripples, they'll be back to business as usual. Uh, I look at both sides. First of all, let's hear from those who say, uh, yes, uh, it is on the verge of collapse. Well, they would, of course, point out that the big story is COVID. Uh, the regime's defense against COVID has been to keep the borders shut, and as such, it is not invested in vaccinations. Uh, the healthcare system is nearly non-existent. Uh, and uh, reports now indicate that uh, maybe a million people are infected, that's about 5% of the population, and it's doubling every two days. Now, if that's true, it'll be a public health catastrophe. Not only will the economy not be supported by a healthy workforce, uh, but the hospitals, such as they are, and they're pretty limited, will surely be overwhelmed soon. A population with no immunity from previous infection and no protection by vaccination is a pathetically easy target for the coronavirus. Nothing can stop it. Uh, they must eventually ask the outside world for help, which has now been, up until now, has been politically impossible. Uh, and because of the state control of press and media, the actual extent of COVID infection in the population at large is probably significantly higher than what they are reporting. It's a public health catastrophe. Uh, and because of the efforts by the state to defeat COVID through lockdown, its borders with China are closed, its source of food and medicine is stopped, a nation which has always been short of any kind of decent food for its population is headed for an even worse situation, and famine is likely, as it has been in the past. Kim Jong-un even suggested that this is likely in a recent speech. He admits it. <laughs> and as a pariah nation, most sources of international supply are cut off. This was strengthened in a major way by the Trump administration, and the same policy continued with the Biden administration. North Korea's policy of earning foreign exchange through weapon sales and from the proceeds of computer fraud and drug dealing are its only real source of revenue. And much of this is being countered uh, by the West. So what we're left with is the fact that North Korea's economic situation is really bad. And, and there's no near-term prospect for its revival, even to the pathetic levels it has enjoyed in the recent past. It's just plain awful. It is collapsing. Well, what about those who say, no, it isn't? <laughs> they have a tough argument to make, but here's what they would say. First of all, North Korea has experienced uh, many difficulties, disasters, challenges, and so forth over the years uh, since the Kim dynasty took power in 1948. Even though the North Korean people have borne the brunt of all these problems, the Kim dynasty, supported by an extremely oppressive dictatorial regime, has survived them all and will do so again. North Korea may be temporarily diminished, but collapse is not on the agenda. And furthermore, any help the regime uh, requires uh, uh, 
can be, it believes, extracted from the West through threats of uh, nuclear assault and retaliation. The nation has a formidable arsenal of lethal weapons, and the nations in that part of the world all live in fear of them. They're in a position of strength, uh, so no collapse. Well, what's my take on all of this? Uh, look, to the extent that collapse means a tanking of the economy, soaring death rates, epidemic uh, disease, awful public health conditions, soaring prices, and even famine, collapse is occurring now. But if we include regime change in that definition, collapse is unlikely. This is a family dynasty, uh, dynasty in England. Uh, that has served by terrorizing its population since 1948, far longer than any other in the world. They are good at eliminating dissent, and it seems that nothing will stop them, despite the appalling conditions for the populace as a whole. Throughout all of this, it will simply be business as usual for the population of this oppressive, rogue, failed state as it has been in the past. And by the way, you might be interested in my take on a somewhat similar situation in Russia. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.